Matthew, everyday audio file, music lover, and beer enthusiast. But it's 7 a.m. in the morning, so instead of beer, I'm going to enjoy a nice cup of coffee. Yes, it's quite good. It's what you need in the morning sometimes. So today we're talking about Diretta, the what seems like a natural progression from using Gen 2 Player. And Diretta was also strongly suggested from basically everyone in the comments. It's not something that is exclusive to Gen 2 Player, but it is something that is easier to install and set up. And before talking about my thoughts on how it sounded, let's let's talk just a little bit about Diretta itself. What is it? This was a little bit hard to answer, I'm not going to lie. The documentation on the website, well first the website isn't that great. But the documentation says basically that it is a reclock for the network transmission of that audio signal. So normally data is sent in packets. That's how everything on the internet communicates. And instead of sending big packets at a time that contain larger portions of the audio track that you're playing, they split it into smaller packets that get sent more often. In doing so, they're able to lower the noise floor, lower the jitter, or at least that's the theory behind what they're doing. I'm sure there's a little bit more magic behind it, a little bit more technical details, but as far as we, the listeners, are concerned, that is what the purpose of Diretta is. In order to achieve that, they split the streaming into two parts, the host and the target. So the host, it is wholly responsible for receiving the streaming signal from whatever you're streaming from. So in my case, this is Rune, but it could be UPnP, it could be Cobas, it could be anything. But all of the signals get sent to the host. And then there is a direct Ethernet connection from the host to the target. So instead of them, instead of the target being connected to the switch, it instead is connected directly to the host via Ethernet. That target is the one that actually has the USB output that goes to the DAC. So in essence, the target of Diretta is isolated completely on the network, right? The only data that it's going to receive through that Ethernet connection, through that network connection, is an audio signal. And then that is, in essence, what gets rendered out in USB to the target or whatever outputs that you have. Uh, I'm using the Holo Audio Red, so right, it has USB and I2S and B and C. It has a lot of outputs to choose from, but the goal is still the same, that it doesn't have to deal with extra data that's coming on the network and then ignoring it, which is just a standard part of the network protocol, right? Uh, it only has to deal with what it cares about. And so I think that in addition to the reclocking, if you'll call it, of the audio signal that gets sent via Ethernet, both of those combine to achieve this lowered noise floor that you can hear, that you're supposed to be able to hear in your audio system. Let's have another drink. Now, before we talk about how it sounds, I will release a setup video. It's going to be a video for Gen 2 player because while I was able to get it running on just a base image of Linux, I thought Diretta plus Gen 2 player sounded better. And not only did it sound better, it was a lot easier to set up. And to me, that means a lot because not everyone is going to be technically inclined enough to do some debugging should something go wrong if they need to. So I'll have the setup video, we'll go through step by step, and I will guide you through my thinkings on why I set it up the way that I did and why I think you should too. Okay, let's talk about how it sounds. In short, it sounds tremendous. And I'm being honest when I say that. The, Diretta has been the single most transformative upgrade that I've made in my system in the last four or five years, it feels like. It's hard to believe that adding another piece of electronics between the source and the DAC improves the sound. And I'm not even using anything special. I just have a Raspberry Pi with a linear power supply 
and that is the that's what's hacked acting as my host right now running gen 2 player and the most immediate thing that you can hear is such a dramatic drop in the noise floor that details that you didn't hear before that you didn't know you were missing before suddenly become present and a really good example of this uh, i've been working on a playlist i'm about to have a an audio meet so i'm going to have about a dozen people over and i'm going to be showing off the system and describing you know why i've made the choices that i made for certain gear and so i've been working on a list of music that i'm going to play about half an hour before I hand off the reins to anyone else to listen to what they want to listen to. And one of the tracks that I've chosen is Look at Where We Are by Hot Chip. And it's because of the before and after that I heard on this track from Diretta. As you're making your way through the first minute of the track, I didn't realize until after Diretta that there is this very obvious offbeat bass hit. It's very light, and while I could make it out after, like, so I switched Diretta, I heard it, I switched to without Diretta, so I took Diretta out of the chain, and I was still able to pick it up, but that's because I knew that it was there. And I think that's the difference. It's not that I imagined this thing being there it's that it became so much more obvious and so much more impactful to the music that it it made me really want to explore every, all of the other music that i have to see what i've been missing <laughs> let's do another example musical nuda has a cover of i will survive and this is just two people it's a singer and a double bass it, it already sounded awesome on the system and by the way i love this track because i myself am a double bass player and so whenever i hear a great representation of what that instrument is supposed to sound like i'm going to instantly fall in love with it and the thing that diretta did for this track is that it made the little details of the breathing in and out or the hands moving across the fingerboard just pop in detail and that I attribute that to a lowering of the noise floor it's not something that I thought could happen right because I already thought I was hearing all of the details but now I'm hearing even more of those details of those little micro details that tell you exactly how big the space is and it's very evident turning on and off diretta taking this Raspberry Pi host out of the chain. Now, is there anything that's wrong with Diretta? I'm going to say maybe. And that really just comes down to needing to explore with it a little bit more. I had an interesting conversation last night with uh, one of my friends. He's a dealer up in Oklahoma. And I told him about Diretta and Gen 2 Player and how next time I go up and visit, I'm going to I'm gonna bring this solution to him. It's the two boxes, right? So it's the whole audio red plus the Raspberry Pi and the linear power supply. And I, I want to get his honest opinion on it. And he expressed some skepticism, and I don't blame him for this because he is a high-end audio dealer. So he deals in high-end brands like Boulder and audio research and and the like right so big expensive brands that have already been acknowledged for their engineering prowess and he said make sure that they aren't doing anything that results in a perceived increase of detail but is really a loss due to some form of DSP that they're processing and this is a really good point so while I've been incredibly happy with Diretta and Gen 2 player because I have perceived this increase of detail, I think I need to take a step back and compare these against other just high-end solutions, you know, go and borrow an R render, and make sure that what I'm hearing isn't just some form of DSP that makes me think I'm hearing more, and is actually a result of that noise floor being dropped. I gotta say, I am impressed. 
I don't want that. I don't want any of this to sound like a knock against Iretta because I have been loving what it's been doing to the system. I myself haven't perceived anything that I could attribute to DSP, but it is important to evaluate it fairly and not just immediately come to the conclusion that oh, it's automatically better. So I will be making. I will be running those tests against high-end streamers against other all-in-one, you know, solutions as far as streaming is concerned, and I'll let you know my thoughts. Uh, you know, additionally, I'm going to be looking at other OSs that compare against Gen 2 Player and see what they bring at the table. Additionally, be on the lookout for a setup video for Diretta so that you can give it a shot yourself. There are a few other videos that cover this setup process, but they weren't enough for me. So I'm going to be putting out a video myself that walks through all of the steps from beginning to end. And I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts after you try Diretta for yourself. But until then, I'll see you all next time.